Alrighty, well, hi everybody. Well, um, once again, I'm working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post, and I'm at a point where um, I want to talk about the things I did today during my stream, but um, one of the things that I did uh, is actually going to be a lot easier explained if I just made a full-blown video about it than have to sit here and type down a whole boatload of text, um, try to give this monstrous explanation of how this works. So... It's just one of those situations where it's a lot easier to show than tell. So, yeah. And then, like usual, I'm going to have some music going in the background. Uh, this time around, it's going to be Doom Catacomb. Their Arid album. It's basically a desert synth. So, go and get that fired up. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, too, um, I'm a bit on the groggy side. Um, I kind of need to take a nap, so... Just to give everybody a heads up on that. So, anyway, um, for those that have seen my other video, our other video about uh, about Gnome Weekend, or hell, maybe it's okay. So yeah, the events come and gone, so it's not even a, it's not even in here. But uh, yeah, Gnome Weekend. I don't want to go into too much detail on it, but um, a lot of what I worked on today is called a gnome vault. This is pretty much the fruits of your labors right here, and and if I'd have known I was going to make a video on this, I probably would have kept a, an epic vault key, but yeah, this is just doing this on a whim. Um, and then at the end of the weekend, I had somewhere between 100 to 110 Vault keys. But, but yeah, you're gonna, every key, every key you use unlocks, unlocks uh, one of these battles. Now, then I'll do kind of a quick intro on, um, on the matches you're gonna be fighting here. And, uh, every single one of these is gonna be exactly the same. Exact same, the exact same team here. Um, so doesn't matter. Have gem masteries. I don't. You won't. I won't be able to show it in this screen here. But yeah, and then agile. And I've already been making mis making these mistakes too often. Trying to do skull damage on these guys, and they always dodge them. So, but anyway, um. Yeah, and their ability, there's a, uh, this, this here doesn't really matter, there's a 30% chance to run away, but if I understand correctly, you'll still get credit for the kill, even if they leave, so, okay, but the big one here, Cedric Sparkle Sack, and they have him in just the right spot too, because he's stealthy, so you can't actually target him, so... And again, they don't have them at the very bottom or at the very top. They have them like right here, so you can't really get to them. But uh, it's a pretty nasty ability he's got, though. You pull the pulls a guy on the bottom to the top. So, and then charm a random enemy. Um, that random enemy is gonna deal damage equal to its attack power to the guy above him and the guy below him. And then he, um, he summons ads. But like I said, so it's, I mean, it, it's not a, I mean, it's not a hard battle, but it's no pushover either. So because of that, especially the pulling the last enemy to first position, I, I find that either a team like this, where three finesses, you have three, three guys that do exactly the same thing. The exception being this guy here, or I gotta, yeah, I gotta rename this team too at some point. But or or something like this here again. All four of these guys do pretty much the same thing. So, so I couldn't really have a team like say the Pimp and the Holes group, where all four of my members. 
have to be in their particular spot, so... It can really throw your team out of whack if any of them get moved. Same with this team here. Any, uh... Anybody on my team gets moved around, it's just gonna throw the whole team off kilter, so... Um, let me start with this. This team here, not as good. I'll try to do a quick explanation on it, Stormcaller. It's got a hard... It's got a hard time really ramping up to do damage or anything like that. You get, I'd have to get it to, like, level 70. So I can get Lightning Strike. this team here um greens and perps and then um you you definitely want to um, you definitely want to look for four and five matches because they uh they increase everybody's stats by 12 After the controller, and then on top of that too, all, all the um, all of my team members, their abilities have to be aimed. So that's just uh, another layer of bureaucracy that I gotta deal with. And for some more damage, but like I said, there um, the damage in this team takes a while to ramp up. You have to hope that you get a whole bunch of four and five matches. And then and then that happens, you end up shooting yourself in the foot scene. But like I said, it's less of an issue because everybody on my team does basically the same thing, so. And then for the rewards you get, So yeah, you can um, you can get a pretty good haul just off of one battle. I mean, three celestial trade stones—they're pretty hard to come by. So, let's go ahead and do another one. So, but like I said towards the start of this video, um, the the vault—excuse me—these vault battles—they're pretty much the fruits of your labors. That you know. Once you've uh, done what you could during the weekend. A little more damage. And, uh, I think I shot myself in the foot there. Well, at least I got a reshuffle out of it. Getting yanked. And once again, giving my opponent three matches. This is another reason why I don't really play this team that much anymore. That and then the other team that I actually started using more and more of. 
Um, those of you that have seen my Johnny Walker video, this uh, team here will be pretty familiar to you. But kind of like that previous one, all four of these guys do pretty much the same thing. So when they start getting hopped around and switched around, it's less of an issue. And then on top of that, um, my three guys, King Helidor here, or two of two of these guys, uh, skull damage reduction by 50%. So they're not gonna take that much damage and create three uh, brown gems. Give 10 life to all. El give 10 life to everybody when matching brown gems. Uh, Queen Ash, same thing. Skull damage reduction. Gonna increase everybody's uh, damage a little bit when matching brown gems. And um, because these abilities, this is another reason why I, I I'm kind of preferring doing these uh gnome vaults with this team here. Is because uh they don't target. So I don't have to make that extra button press or two to actually try to specify which person I want to hit. So this makes the team a little bit faster. In fact, it can also be to where I don't have to use my controller to make this more efficient. I can just uh, use uh, use my mouse. The only exception being this one here. I have to actually target somebody. But yeah, um, deals true damage, knocks them into the back of the group, and then creates three elemental stars. These uh, elemental stars, for those that don't know, uh, when you match them with uh, any brown, blue, green, or red, they're going to create an X-shaped explosion. I suppose I can show it here. Like that. You see the X, see the big old X-shape going flying across? That's it's. They're uh, destroying all the gems, which means you get mana out of them all. So in a X pattern. So again, all all three of these guys do the same thing, create three elemental stars, she does the same thing. So if your positions get switched around in this one, it's much less of an issue. And, but like I said, the rewards, the rewards are pretty plentiful what you get, and, uh, and the rewards are pretty much random too. So. I guess I'll go ahead and do one more. But like I said, this is one of those teams where, with the exception of him, I can just use my mouse for the uh, rest of the abilities. Oh, we're off to a good start. Uh, there's a little trick I'm trying to do. I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off, but it requires uh, having her up and running. Ah, uh, looking so good. But what, I was, what I'm trying to do, it deals uh, damage to the second last enemy, which is right where Cedric is at. I'm trying to get her up, hit him with it. That'll pull him straight up to the top. And then use that to take them out, but didn't happen that way. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. That means it should be my turn. And there's 
there's that. But like I said, in a... Possibly more than my last team, this, this team here has a greater potential for giving my opponent free matches. So, let's go ahead and do one more since that one there went pretty quick, but like I said, rewards are random, I'm getting gems, gold, got a gem key. matches. Oh, let's let's give them even more free matches. Boy, look at you. Surprised the whole entire team didn't bail on me. I just want to do like a quickie demo on how that works, so So just gonna go ahead and get this video um, uploaded and processed and all that other good stuff and I'll continue on on my blog post. So but thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate that and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.